Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about the three differences between common emitter, common base and common collector. So basically, let us go through one after the other. So input, excuse me, the input resistance is low in common base that is 100. It is moderate for common collector and it is high for common collector. Okay, common base, common emitter, common collector. Okay. So, and the large signal gains are alpha, beta, gamma, that's fine. So, output high, moderate, low. So, it's reciprocal. Okay. So, current gain is 1, which is low, high, high. Voltage gain above 150, above 500, less than 1 volts. In common collector, the voltage gain is really low. And the phase shift is 0 360, 180 and 0 360. As this is the reason why we use common emitter in our oscillators, guys. 180 degrees phase shift. So, the conditions are for high for high frequency, okay, just give me a second. For high frequency circuits and common collector for audio frequency, or you can even say that for oscillators and common collector for impedance matching. Okay, guys, so now I hope everyone got a small idea on the differences between these three. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the relation between alpha, beta, gamma. Thank you. Thanks for watching.